Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana and I'm excited about today's tutorial. So let's hop right in. I'm not wasting any time today. Okay, I'm gonna move my face down here because it tends to get in the way. My computer is making lots of noises. It does not like this. Before I get started, I wanted to quickly talk about Instagram story covers. So Instagram highlight covers, they're called uh, several different things. But I did the market research for them and I looked up to see what was trending right now for June 2021. And what's trending right now are pink highlight covers, green highlight covers, and uh, minimalist. So I'm going to show you how I would design um, some of these and you can obviously play on with this. This is going to be a very basic tutorial. It's a beginners very easy canva basically just hands it all to you so let's get started so i'm going to go up to here i'm going to just hit create a design and i'm going to type in instagram to see what they have so they have all different um templates already that are blank so i'm going to go with instagram story because that's the one that people can put right into their highlight and make it their cover so I'm gonna go with this uh, setup. Okay, so it's a little laggy, sorry about that. Um, here I am in a blank canvas. It's really big, but um, it's really tall and long uh, vertically, but that's okay, because it's um, mostly just what you're gonna be focusing on when you put it in your uh, highlights is gonna be the center. So we'll make sure that everything that we put is in right smack in the middle. So, um, because that's what's really gonna show is right here. If you are a free Canva, Canva user or a pro Canva, Canva user, if you're a pro Canva user, you can use any of the elements that have the crown. If you're a free Canva user, you can't do that. You cannot do, you can't use the crown ones. You have to use the free elements, free fonts, um, that kind of thing. And I have a link uh, down below for my full Canva tutorial. So check that out if you want to learn more about that and if this is overwhelming for you. So I'm going to make this a little bigger. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to just, ooh, that's way too big. Let me go up to the percentages. Move my face. Percentages. Let's make it. 25 because I think I can still see it. Yeah, that one's good. And then me back down here. And okay, so I'm going to start with the pink one first. So most of the time when people do highlights, it's about lifestyle. It's about like working out or shopping or, you know, it depends on what you do in your life. It can be about kids. It can be about I don't know anything. So the sky's the limit here. And most of what I see on Etsy and, and people who are selling Instagram covers is there's a ton of different um, or different things to put in the center. So let's do with a pink. Let's do a pink one. I really like going down to styles and seeing what's already here for template for color templates. So I like this one. Let me see. I really like uh, Moontine Glacial Difference. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with this color palette, but I want the pink in that because I'm going to do mostly a pink um, for this first one since that's what's trending right now. People like blush pink. I love this pink. This is like a peachy pink, and I think it's, it really stands out. Uh, pink and minimalist together because why not? Why not do a cross interest, you know, while we're at it? I'm gonna get rid of this subheading. I really like this font. Um, and if you're not sure if it's free or not, you can go up to uh, the font selection and the drop down menu, and you can see if there's no crown, then it's free. If there's a crown, it's not free, and I would stay away from it if you are not a Canva Pro user. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this subheading. And I'm gonna stick, it seems to be right in the middle anyways, we can check that in a minute, but I'm just gonna make this, these highlight one where it just says what the highlight story is about, not necessarily a picture. That's that's one thing that you can do for different is you can either write what you want. So like, let's say I want this one to be all about travel. Then bam, there's there's my first one. If I can, I can make this a little bigger, 
So by pulling out on the edge, and if I want to make it center, I go up to position and I hit center. Um, but if it's not directly in the center of your mouse, see like that, that means to me that it's in the smack dab of the middle of the template. And that's what you want for these highlights. Okay. And then you can make it a little bit bigger. And bam, your first one's done. Let's say you want to do another one, uh, but you don't want to go through all that again. Then you can go up to here and hit duplicate page and type in something else, beauty. Whoops, that's not how you spell beauty. That's not how you spell it either. Beauty, all right? So think of different words that people use in their stories for their highlights. So some really good words to use are health, uh, books, love, children, I don't know, whatever, whatever you want to write, whatever you think your ideal audience is going to be looking for. Um, and you can always tell them on your listing that if they're missing a word, then you can quickly make that for them and that's not a big deal. You see how easy and fast it is, right? And you can always change the color of this pink too. You don't have to keep it the same pink. You can keep it in different different levels of tone, right? So you can go up to here to this plus sign and you see you're already here. What I like to do is I like to hit that. And then uh, with my side arrow, down arrow, I like to just see what else is in that same realm of color. So if I wanna go lighter, I go up with my arrow. Okay, so that's super easy. This is this is super simple. So what you do is you make this all images. So once you download, when you're ready to, to be done with this template, you can go up to here and you can make it JPEG, download all of these, put it in a zip file and upload it straight onto Etsy. It's that easy. Okay, so I'm gonna go with green and minimalist, right? And if you wanna be ultra minimalist, you can just do white and black. Uh, that's not a hard thing to do at all. But I'm gonna do, instead of words, I'm gonna do an element. So I wanna show you how simple this is, you guys. It's so easy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna I duplicated that page for a beauty. I'm going to get rid of this because I don't want any words. I want it just to be pictures. I'm assuming the mint green is what's good right now. I don't know. Um, or even just more like a light forest green. So let's try this one. Oh, that's perfect. I love that green. That's a really pretty green. So I'm going to get rid of this. And this one's for travel. So I'm going to go up to elements. And I'm going to type in travel just to see what elements it comes up with. And up here, it shows you that you can do all photos, graphics. I want graphics. Those are the elements that I want. I don't want photos. I want graphics, like clip art. So you can always use something like this. Just put a regular airplane. That's cute. I like that. But I kind of want something more outlined. So let's see. This isn't as minimalist as I want it to be. I think what would be more minimalist is just a simple airplane. But I want an airplane that's not all filled in with color. I want it to be outlined. But also, don't forget if you are, make sure you're looking at whether it's pro or or free in a way you can filter that is go up by, to this little sandwich in here and click free. Um, I also like to click static, which means it's not animated because I hate that. And then apply filters. And that's what's great because you can see now what's free that you can use. And yeah, so this is cute. I like, you can even make it the same color as this green in here by going to the white. So that's very minimal to me. Um, I love that because to me that that looks like you're you're wandering around the world. And I love that, that one, that one to me looks really, I'm gonna make it a little bigger. I don't think that's center all the way. So let me move it down a little bit, oh, so slow. Okay, so now I'm going to make it again, and I'm going to think of ones that are for beauty, right? Oh, why do I keep spelling it like that? Ah, I'm going to go to graphics again. Okay, we're looking down. This is still on free and static. I like the lotus flower because it reminds me of a spa, but that one has not the right outline. This one works. This one's very lotus-y, and I like how it's thick outlined. Okay, there. So, I mean, it could be beauty, <laughs> I don't know. 
whatever. There, there are so many different images on here. You can upload your own images if you want. If you hand drew something that reminds you of beauty, you can upload it straight onto Canva and put it right here and then bam, it's done and it's ready for you. And of course you can make this one plain. Go back up to this travel one, go up here. Um, if white's not in your palette, just hit, go up there and put the hex code for white, which is six Fs. Click that again, go into this, change the color of the background to white and bam, that's way more minimalist because there's no color, it's just plain. And then again, what you do is you hit download and bam, there you go. It's one of the easiest templates to do on Canva is Instagram store. And they're so popular right now. I'm seeing it everywhere. I'm seeing lots of searches for it, both on E-Rank and Marmalade. Okay, so if you've made it this far through the tutorial, thank you so much. And if it has helped you, please don't forget to give it a like. And thanks so much for that subscribe. See what I did there? You have to, just, you have to subscribe now because I said thank you for it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.